Mackie 464, designed for manufacture, also affectionately known as the Doom Buggy Design Course. It's a course in which we take our uh, 20 engineering students and run them through a full cycle of engineering, including measuring, modeling, reverse engineering. We get them to design. In this case, they designed uh, parts to convert their gas-powered one-fifth scale RC buggies to electric power and uh, they have to design, conceive of the parts, draw them, and every Saturday for the past uh, term we've been over at Nate where the machinist instructors have been coaching our students on how to build their own parts. And the neat thing is that they don't build to their own drawings, we get them to exchange drawings with their colleagues. So they have the experience that all machinists have of working to somebody else's drawing. We get them to inspect the parts, and then our final exam is a race. Followed by Kurt and the Ready marks, get set, Kurt one. Kurt two. Kurt three. Kurt four. Kurt five. I would say making the parts, like, because we designed them, we drew them ourselves, and then we actually had to machine them. So, you know, where one person would make a drawing for a part and then hand it to me or Kate and we'd have to go and machine it. And it's a different story trying to make something off of a drawing someone else made. And you find things that are wrong, dimensions that, you know, <laughs> tolerance. We not definitely wrong. learned a lot about how to design parts for sure, yelling at each other in the shops for doing terrible things. <laughs> Sustainability is really important to me. I went to Germany this summer to do a course on sustainability. So the gas to electric conversion is something that's really an interesting topic to me and I'm glad that was chosen for the project this year. Yeah, they're all going electric. Um, as a matter of fact, when Dave and I were first kicking around the idea, we thought of introducing a hydrogen fuel cell. And I think we still may do that. There's a, We can get some solar panels and have it uh, convert uh, electricity into hydrogen, basically break apart water, and then capture that hydrogen to run a little fuel cell to uh, <clears throat> either charge a battery or run the car. So uh, we'll get there. That might, in fact, be the next project to convert these cars to hydrogen fuel cells. Four minutes left.